Hey there! Before we jump into the video, I want to tell you about our math video game called Mage Math. The game will help your child feel more confident in math, and our math videos are inside the game to really help your child succeed. You can find the game and all our videos at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I was using blocks to learn about multiplying two two-digit numbers. As you can see, I decided to build some really cool towers. My friend Gig is building towers as well. Hey Gig, don't knock over my tower. Oh well, why don't you learn from my friend about multiplying two two-digit numbers while I clean this up. Today we're going to practice multiplying two two-digit numbers. For example, what is the product of 13 times 24? Let's start by writing the problem like this, stacking the numbers vertically so the place values match up. To multiply, we will start with the 4 on the bottom, and we will multiply by 3, and then by 1. Then, we are going to multiply by the 2 on the bottom, by the 3 on top, and then the 2 times 1. Let's get started. 4 times 3 is 12. However, when we multiply, we can only write one digit below in each column, so this means we need to carry the 1 to the next place value. Now we multiply 4 times 1, and then we add the 1 that we had carried. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Great job! We're halfway done. Next, we need to multiply the 2 through the digits up top, but first we have to write 0 down below. Why do we do this? Because the 2 represents two tens or 20. The 0 is the placeholder for the 0 in 20. We can also cross out the 1 that we had previously carried as we're done with it. Okay, now let's multiply 2 through the digits up top. 2 times 3 is 6. We have nothing to carry because 6 is just a single digit. Now we multiply 2 times 1, which is 2. Great job! Our next step is to add 52 plus 260. And we'll add, as we usually do, working in our place values. 2 plus 0 is 2. 5 plus 6 is 11. Remember, we'll have to carry the 1 because we only write one digit down below. Now we can add 1 plus 2, which is 3. The product of 13 times 24 is 312. Great job! Ready to try another problem? Let's find the product of 53 times 64. Begin by stacking our numbers and lining up the place values. 4 times 3 is 12. We want to carry the 1. 4 times 5 plus 1. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. Now we want to write a 0 as a placeholder so we can start multiplying by 6 down below. However, we also want to cross out the 1. 6 times 3 is 18, so that means we'll carry the 1. Now we'll multiply 6 times 5, which is 30, and then we need to add the 1 that we carried. 30 plus 1 is 31. Great job! Next, we want to add 212 to 3180. Let's do so using our place values, starting in the 1's column, 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 plus 8 is 9. 2 plus 1 is 3. And then we'll just carry down the 3. So we found the product of 53 times 64 equals 3,392. Fantastic! Ready to try another problem? What is 29 times 28? First, let's stack the numbers lining up each place value. 
8 times 9 is 72. Here, we'll carry the 7. Now multiply 8 times 2, which is 16, and then we add 7. This gives us 23. Next, write the 0 below, and we'll cross out the 7. Now multiply 2 times 9, which is 18. Carry the 1. Multiply 2 times 2, which is 4, and then add 1. That gives us 5. So now we want to add 232 plus 580. 2 plus 0 is 2. 3 plus 8 is 11, so we'll carry a 1. And then we'll add 1 plus 2 plus 5. That's 8. We found 29 times 28 is equal to 812. Fantastic! I hope you learned a lot about multiplying today. As you can see, I built up the towers again just to have Gig enjoy smashing them. Thanks for joining us today. We will see you next time. Thank you for watching our video. To support us in making more videos, please check out our game at magemath.com. MageMath will really help your child have fun with math, so check it out today.